Is this uh, on? Yes. <laughs> Is this YouTube? Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, we're obviously in Lithuania now and I've just come to meet two of our bestest friends here, Arnas and Egg. <laughs> Arnas and Agla. Uh, we've just been for a burger in a restaurant, which is super crazy. And uh, I even went to a clothes shop and bought a top, which was nice. But now we're heading over to Arnas' new coffee shop, Espressine. So where are we so people can find it? Shverinas. What's Shverinas? What is this neighborhood? It's where they hunt animals. It's only 100 years that this part is officially part of the news. A lot of countryside and rich people live here. He's making a video for his travels and promoting our place. As you see, business is going well. We have only a few coffee packs. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice coffee shop. <laughs> Thanks to the coffee guys, it was good. Thank you. Oh well, thank you. And see you guys all later, bye! Okay guys, well that was super nice to see their new coffee shop. Um, Arnas owns it with uh, two other friends, Mendelgus and another Arnas. And the coffee shop is located here, so if you're based in Vilnius, then um, certainly come and, come and have their coffee. All of their coffee is sourced all the way to the farm pretty much, so they know exactly where it's come from. So yeah, they can trace it right back to the route. It's very interesting. But now I'm gonna go and explore some of Vilnius. It is warm today, it's really, really warm. I think it's like 27 degrees outside, but we've got the AC on in the van, so that's great. You might notice that I'm out on this day trip on my own. Gabby's at home. She's working very, very hard, but I'm now gonna take a trip over to Three Crosses, which is a place in Vilnius, uh, which looks right across the city. Um, it's a beautiful part, just to sort of introduce you guys to Vilnius uh, and to show you that maybe the cathedral and the old town from a distance. I'm gonna drive over there now, then I'm gonna cycle up to the Three Crosses Hill. Yep, this is Vilnius. Hello guys, okay, I've just arrived at the car park at the bottom of the hill uh, of the Three Crosses. Uh, I'm just about to walk up there now, but I thought I'd mention this car park because I don't know if you can see in the background over there, there's a few camper vans, um, so maybe you're allowed to sleep here overnight. I'll leave the location of this place in the description or maybe I'll have it on the screen right now for you. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to walk up the hill to the Three Crosses um, and I'll see you up there. As you can tell, I've just made it up to the Three Crosses. It's quite a steep walk, so if you come up here, um, make sure you bear that in mind. The view from up here is just incredible. I mean, the Three Crosses are pretty magnificent as they are, but then the view is just something else. I mean, if you want a view of Vilnius Old Town, then this is the place to come. It's just stunning. You can see right across the whole city, even across the TV Tower and Gidemenas Castle, just about there. So legend has it that there were seven friars that were beheaded up on this hill back in the 14th century and these three crosses were originally built just of wood uh, as some sort of remembrance to them. Over the years they were demolished and replaced and in the 50s they were replaced by three concrete crosses. That was until uh, the Soviet Union came and bulldozed them uh, and knocked them down as they saw any sort of religion or 
relation to religion a threat to the state. So Antanas Wywalskis, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, <laughs> was a Lithuanian Polish architect who designed these crosses that stand here now and they were erected in 1989, just before the fall of the Soviet Union and Lithuania regaining its independence. They stand as a real beautiful monument to look out across the whole city. Um, yeah, it's quite breathtaking, the view from up here. I don't think it can be beaten. Apart from maybe on the top of Gediminas Castle, and I'll try and show you that in a future video. The crosses themselves are very white, and on a sunny day like today, they're really quite blinding up close. Um, but yeah, breathtaking, really, really powerful, beautiful view. Yeah, a definite must visit when you come to Vilnius. It's also worth coming to see the crosses uh, at night time because they get illuminated every evening and you can see them from right across the city. So uh, yeah, it's certainly worth a look. That's it from me here now, guys. Um, I'm gonna head back down to the van and uh, go back home, maybe have some dinner. And um, yeah, this evening I've got some exciting plans. I'm gonna actually be going out dancing. Now, some of you that are new to the channel uh, might not be familiar. Lindy Vanna, Lindy being the part uh, of our dancing. We dance Lindy Hop. It's a swing dance from, uh, from the 1930s, from the 1930s and 1940s. It's an African-American dance. Uh, it came from Harlem in New York. It's an amazing uh, art form uh, created by uh, black dancers in America. So um, yeah, I can't wait to go and do some dancing this evening. Unfortunately, Gabby's not going to be able to join me because she's working super hard today. It's going to be the first time that I'm social dancing in just over six months. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. But anyway, I'll catch you later. Over and out.